Bear Curie here with a DIY mini album tutorial. This is going to be my um, mini album that I used for my December daily this year. So I wanted to share with you guys how I created this. So I started with some chipboard and I cut mine down to nine by seven inches. And I have two pieces of that size. And then I have one piece that's going to be the spine that's two and a half by nine inches. And then those two pieces that were taped together I showed you, I'll show you what I do with those later on, but those are just spare pieces of chipboard. Um, you'll need a bone folder, some wet glue, clothes pins are optional, but they help me during my DIY album making. Binder rings, I'm just using two, but you could use as many as you wanted. Um, some eyelets and a punch and eyelet setter. Um, eyelets are kind of optional as well, but um, I think it kind of gives it a more finished look. Um, and I use the crocodile um, for my punch and eyelet setter because um, it can punch through chipboard so um, and then you're gonna need some cardstock I used five pieces um, two will be the front cover two will be the inside cover and then one piece will be the spine so I'm gonna cut down my um, outside cover I'm gonna cut that down to um, it'll be 10 and 8 inches so you'll have a little bit of a um, lip going over the chipboard this is a little different than how I've done my albums in the past as far as covering them because I am doing a spine, a different color spine this year, um, but I really like the way that it came out. So I'm just positioning it because um, this paper that I'm using has got like these reindeers that are like kind of dancing through the snow. I guess they're running, but they look very, very festive and <laughs> happy as they're running. So maybe I think they're jumping. Um, so anyways, they're... Um, the bottom part, the snow, is um, not very high up on the page, um, so I didn't want to have that completely folded over um, on my um, album. So um, you'll notice that the lip on the top is higher than the bottom, but depending on what kind of paper you're using, you'll probably just want to center it. You'll notice that I am not placing it completely over to one side, so there's a little bit of the chipboard is hanging over, and that's just where my spine is going to go. So there's no like reason for how much I'm having it hang over. Um, it's just whatever um, I felt like really when I was making it. Um, and with mine, because it is a directional pattern, you'll just want to make sure that you're aware of what direction your paper is going when you actually have your album all set up. So you'll see I put mine together in a second and kind of make sure that <laughs> it's actually how it's supposed to go. So um, yeah, there's the front and then the back. So now I'm going to add the spine. Um, the piece that I used, or the piece that I cut for my spine, I believe I cut it at, um, so it's going to be 10 inches high, and I believe I cut it at 4 inches. And again, if you want to do a spine, you don't have to do a spine as a different color, but if you want to, um, you can make it as thick as you want it to be. Um, so that's just the... The measurements that I went with there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this just right down smack dab in the center of that piece of paper. So this is the chipboard piece and again that measures at two and a half and nine inches. And I'm using the bone folder. You'll see I'm using that to um, smooth down all of the wet glue and just to adhere it really well to the, um, the paper to the chipboard. So now I'm going to add my front and my back cover um, and I'm just gonna um, slap down some glue and then I'm gonna adhere one side right down next to the spine. And this is where those two pieces of chipboard taped together, this is where that comes in. So all that does is makes a little gap that's even and symmetrical down your page um, that will make it so you can actually fold your album open and close, which is kind of the point, right? So um, I went ahead and adhered that down. I'll do the other side here as well, same as the first. So just a little bit of glue down, um, the side down, and then I'll put that little piece um, there. And I just kind of eyeball kind of uh, where the book is going 
Um, I'm not too worried about it being exactly perfect. This is a handmade DIY album that really only my family is going to see. So, well, and all you guys. <laughs> um, but, I, you know, I don't need it to be exactly perfect. So now I'm going to cut the corners off of my um, album here. And um, you'll see why I do that in a minute. But basically it just makes so your um, album corners aren't really sharp. Um, it gives it a nice kind of clean streamlined corner when you're um, when you've got all your paper folded up so I'll zoom in and show that in a minute um, but first I am going to fold down my um, top and bottom edges I do the tops and bottoms first and then I do the sides last um, I fold it up with my both bone folder first because it's a little less to deal with um, when I add my glue and then same thing, just add some glue, adhere it down with your bone folder. Um, and I like to pull up um, so the paper is going towards the center of the album um, when you're adhering down so you're not getting any gaps between the paper and the chipboard. Um, and then I use clothespins because um, I don't like to wait for glue to dry. However, I do use um, the quick dry tacky glue, um, which does make it dry a lot um, quicker than a lot of other wet glues. But you can use any wet glue that you want. Um, you can even use like Elmer's glue, it works just fine. That's what I've used in the past and it works just fine. So um, I'm going to be doing the, um, I guess this would be the bottom now, um, and I will do it the same as the first. And then um, I'm going to kind of explain how I do the center because uh, towards the end I forgot to unzoom after I zoom in here um, when I do the corners. I forgot to unzoom for like the rest of the album, which... Uh, rookie mistake right there right anyways I forgot to unzoom so you don't really get to see how I do the center or the um interior of the album so all I do is I um, adhere two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock together and um just and I have them trimmed down to about nine and three quarters because you don't want it to go all the way to the edge of your album but you want it to cover up some of that overlap there um so you'll cut it down to nine and three quarters and then have it taped together so it's basically a 24 inch long piece of paper and then you'll um, set it down on your base there and then um, mark where your edges are going to be so how far you want it to close to the edges um, and then you'll just glue it down like normal and you'll see that in a minute but it'll just be zoomed in so you won't really get a good view so I slowed this part down for you guys because you could see how I do the corners here so all I do is um, I just kind of use my bone folder and just fold that little edge there um, so it's not just a sharp pointed corner and there's not I mean it's not like an exact science of how to do it and yeah you know, I'm totally out of frame here but um, but yeah, it's, you just want to make sure that you're not having that really sharp corner. It's just folded up a little bit there. And that's how I do my corners. So then I'll do the same thing that I did with my top and the bottom. And just fold up my edges with my bone folder. Add some glue. And then adhere it down. I'll do that to both sides. And then after I get my sides done, that's when I do my interior. And again, it's just two pieces of 12 by 12 paper adhered together cut down to nine and three quarters so it's like nine and three quarters and 24 inches when it's all together then you're going to place it on top of your album as it's open just like it's shown here and then you're going to trim down your edges to where you want them um, so you can make it go you know half an inch to the edge or a quarter inch it's completely up to you what kind of look you want for your album so I think I did mine about a half an inch to the edge um, maybe a little less but anyways um, here is the interior that I used and it's adhered together and I'm just marking it to trim it down now um, and then I'm going to trim it down and 
um, adhere it to my album. Once I have this adhered to my album, then I'm going to punch my holes. Um, with the um, binder rings that I use, I use the two inch binder rings. So I believe that I did um, maybe an inch and a half for my between my holes um so I and again I don't like do exact measurements here I just kind of go with what I think is going to look good so I think I went from the seams I went a half an inch on each side from the seams is where I punched my holes and then I added my eyelets um punched those in and here I am here I'm, I'm marking where I'm gonna um, punch my holes there so I just went from where the seams were and then went a half an inch on each side and then I went a full inch up and then you'll see there it's done um, my eyelets are in and I'm just um, getting my binder rings in there and then once the binder rings are in that's it you're done you can add your pages um, this one is since it's a 9 by 7 album it can it, it can hold um, a 6 by 8 page is basically what I made it for it could hold page protectors if you wanted or just loose pages so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys soon have a good day bye